and into tomorrow. Rob? Yeah, well, the latest coordinates just came in, and Harvey's taking a little bit of a jog off to the east, officially per the National Hurricane Center. First off, though, you can see that big blob, that blow up over eastern Texas. That is not great news. Very heavy rainfall there. More flooding likely just west of the Louisiana line. We'll take a look at some of the radar products in just a bit. Here's Harvey, 50 mile per hour winds, but what has changed too is the pressure's dropped off a little bit at 994 millibars, so still sustained winds at 50. It's moving to the northeast at 6, so this is going to make landfall officially on the Cameron coastline, uh, and then uh, uh, later tonight through tomorrow morning, and then gradually weakening as it moves up through Senla, and then points farther to the north and east uh, down the line. As for locally, what's going on right now? All the big heavy-duty rains are back across extreme western Louisiana, southeast Texas, but you can see the tropical rain bands riding across Acadiana at this hour, and that's going to continue through the overnight hours. On and off waves of tropical showers might see embedded tornado, but uh, we're not looking for that to, to be a done deal. And the heaviest of rains staying off to the west of Acadiana. We're going to see some locally heavy downpours, uh, but the big action stays generally to the north and to the west of the center of circulation with Harvey. So that's what we're going to be looking at moving ahead overnight tonight through tomorrow. On top of the chance of rain, several inches of rain, but the big floods to the west. We'll talk more about that, plus the wind forecast, the surge forecast, and all that comes with a tropical storm that's moving in tonight and will be affecting us all day tomorrow, coming up in just a little bit. Come down and go back up.